Hey everyone, I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC giving you a closer look at the F2 roost deflector from EVS. Alright, so today we're taking a closer look at the F2 roost deflector from EVS. So EVS has a lot of great roost deflectors in their lineup, but the F2 is going to be for the rider that's looking for something that's going to offer a little bit more coverage in the front and the back as well as coming around, wrapping around the rib cage area. So if that's what you're looking for, well, this could be a good option. Price point on the F2, you're going to come in just under the $130 mark. So before we get in, we talk about the features of it. Let's just talk about fit real quick. So they actually don't have you take a chest measurement with the F2. They actually just go by weight. So look at the weight range that you fall into. That will tell you what size you are going to need. But you can use Daniel here as a frame of reference. Daniel, about 6 feet 1 inches tall, 185 pounds, about a 40 inch chest. He is wearing a size large, so this will give you a good reference as to how it's going to fit you. There is some adjustment on here. I do like some of the features about this roost deflector. There are some things I feel could be a little bit better, and we'll talk about those as we go through. But remember, this isn't a apparel item, so if you buy this, this goes for any roost deflector or chest guard that we sell at Rocky Mountain. If you're not happy with the size or fit, send it back in brand new unused condition, and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So starting out with the adjustment. Up here on the top, you've got these straps in the front as well as on the back of the shoulder. We'll show you those in a minute. That's going to offer a little bit of adjustment. Here's my nitpick. These straps are very short. You hardly have any adjustment with these straps. So honestly, I don't really think you're getting a whole lot out of those. But if Daniel does a quarter turn for me, lifts up the arm. You've got this elastic strap here going around the side. You can see that's where it wraps around the, the rib area. This, you can see, is going to offer plenty of adjustability for different widths. You can put your arm down for me, Daniel. But the only thing I noticed with these buckles is they're nice and heavy duty, but they're kind of hard to do by yourself. In fact, when Daniel was putting this on, I actually had to help him buckle these in. So kind of a hassle, but it's not going to be a deal breaker. But as you look at the front here, you can see hard plastic throughout. I think it offers pretty good coverage here. You're going to have biofoam underneath this, so it is comfortable when you are wearing it. So this, the front is going to be CE certified as a stone shield. It's not CE certified for impact, so just remember that. But a cool feature about this that you don't see too often is you've got this little bolt right here in the center. Well, it's actually a two-piece design. So what it is, is actually allowing this piece to rotate. So that way, it's just not going to be any binding. They just want to be as comfortable and move with the rider or be as comfortable as possible and move with the rider. Daniel, turn and face the back for me. So here in the back, you can see pretty good coverage all the way down to the bottom of his back here. The back is going to be CE certified for impacts. So you are getting that impact protection in the back. You can see you've got this big cutout down here. So EVS, obviously, they do make a neck brace. So they say that this will work with most neck braces. So if you do have a neck brace, remember, use that fit guarantee. Try it on. Make sure you try it on with your neck brace and make sure the two are compatible. If not, like I said, you can exchange it. But you've got this pocket right here. So that way, the back, uh, the part of the neck brace that's contacting the back of the rider, you will sit right inside here. You also do have these elastic straps that they incorporate here on the top of the shoulder. Those also are there to help secure a neck brace in place once you have it on. And then again, as you work your way all, all the way down, you see you've got a lot of venting cutouts to help this thing breathe as much as possible. All right, down the face, back to the front. So last thing I will point out is up here on the top, again, you've got your shoulder pads. I think for a piece that offers this much protection, it'd be nice to see it maybe offer a little bit bigger shoulder pad. That's just my opinion. But again, this is the F2 roost deflector coming from EVS. Your good coverage front and back. Again, the adjustment straps on the shoulders, not that long, but you do have good adjustment here around the waist. If you guys have any other questions about this, you can leave your questions and comments below. We will get those answered. Offered in two different colorways, the black, which Daniel is wearing, but it also is a white version as well. To pick yours up, it is very simple. Just click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight on this roost deflector, we got a lot more just like it, so get subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you're not quite sure which one you feel is going to be best for you, or maybe not quite sure what style you're looking for, we actually have a roost deflector's buyer's guide where we go through talk about the different styles that are out there just to kind of help give you a good starting point. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.